Hello, my name's Kate and I'm going to talk to you about making up a young man, Caucasian young man, for film and TV, tanning him up and giving him a nice hero makeup. This is Tom. As you can see, he's got good skin, he's young, he's good looking, so we're just going to give him a nice tan, tanned look for film and TV. I'm going to use basically three products that are very well known in the film industry that I think you should know about. The first one is the makeup mixer. It's about £10, I think, available at Pam. Um, this is the best, best, and in fact, the first mixer that I'm aware of that ever came on the market. So that's that there. That's the first thing. Secondly is the, again, very famous in the um, makeup world for film and television. This is called Morag's palette. This comes from Morag Ross, um, world famous makeup designer. She's designed this palette as a sort of hero palette, the colours she likes. Six colours there. Again, quite cheap, actually, in the scheme of things. And finally, um, the Makeup Forever HD Mixer. Uh, the, the, sorry, the HD Primer. And I've, done, we, I've chosen a caramel colour here, which um, will just give Tom a lovely warm glow to his skin. Uh, it can be quite difficult to turn someone quite pale into a nice sort of hero tan, but here we go. So first of all, he's got good skin, but there's a couple of blemishes that just need correcting. Um, if I just go through the basic colours on this palette, you've got this number 14, which is brilliant with touche clap under the eyes, or instead of touche clap, also good for disguising beard lines. If, you've ever got a, if you ever have got an actor and you need to turn him into a woman or take away his beard line or any dark growth, this is your colour. It looks very pink, but it counteracts the grey. Now, Tom is blonde, so he hasn't got a strong beard line and dark men, this colour will take out the, um, the colour of the, the grey of the beard line. Also, it will knock out tattoos. If you've got an actor who's got a really black tattoo, this is the colour to put on before you put any base colour on. Uh, then we've got this, this colour here, CR, great for taking away any red. Um, if we just, Tom being so blonde, has got quite a lot of red in his skin. So, Tom, if you just turn to the side there, we can zoom in here, he's got a little bit of red there. So we just ever so lightly, this may look like it's heavy, it's not grease, it's wax, so it can go on really thinly. So if we just paint some on the side of his nose there, just where he's got, I mean, he's got great skin, but just a little bit red. If we just turn that way, Tom, and back the other way. So I'm just ever so thinly bl brushing on this CR and... So can, that is just knocking out the red. Quite a common thing with people being slightly too red around their nose, particularly blondes. Um, you can actually, Tom, just turn that way again. You can see oh, there's a slight blemish there. I'm not using a base tone. I'm using this green there. Because the blemish is slightly red, that in itself is enough to take that blemish away. Uh, I use this palette on Love Actually um, for an actress who was involved in a kissing scene um, and kept reacting to the male's beard line and flaring up and we ended up using this neat on her face because every time she went into the clinch with the, with the um, male actor she was coming out bright red and this was knocking it back in it on its own. So without even using a base colour there I've managed to get rid of those slight, slight red tones of the blemishes. Okay, so we just turn around. So you can see I've put a slight, let me just extend that out a bit. So this is Le Maquillage. So I've already talked about this number 14, the CR. This is a really lovely ivory colour. This, again, these are more rags choices, but they're very popular in the film and TV industry. This is a lovely warm colour. If you need to, need to pale an actress down or an actor down, and the big worry is always they're going to go grey. This colour, because it's got so much warmth in it, never goes grey. So you can pale them down for a period production, um, and it's brilliant. This is TL3, probably the most popular. I mean, I do apologise for the slightly chaotic numbering system of this palette, but um, this is a very cult brand, and they have their own numbering methods. This is TL3, the most popular colour. Looks quite dark, actually. I'll, sh I'll put some on my hand. Not very dark at all. Not as dark as it looks. Can you see that there? Um, then we have 117, which is famous for being a fantastic shader. If we, Tom's got great bones. 
if I just, I always use my hand as a palette. Again, if I just want to do a little bit of sculpting there, I can use the 117. This is wax, it's not grease, it's, it's really fine. Tom, just look that way for me, we'll just do the other side. I don't want to disturb the blemish covering I've done on this side, where I've got a tiny couple of blemishes. But we can do some lovely cheekbones with the 117. Again, if you've got an actor or an actress who needs shading on their jawline, this is the one that most people would use. Tom doesn't need it, he's got a lovely firm jawline. But with a, maybe with an older actress, you might need to just cheap bit of colour in there, just to square it off. It blends beautifully and it stays really well. So that's your final colour. And the, and the last colour we've got here is lovely warm ivory. Again, it looks darker than it is. It comes up quite pale. Um, now, the, the final part, of so that's your sort of corrective base colour there. And that's by a company called Le Maquillage. Very, very popular. And finally, a bit of a more mainstream company, Makeup Forever. This is their primer designed to go, be mixed with their bases, but I love it for tanning up actors, particularly males, because it's very, very sheer. If I put a tiny bit on my skin, it's got a pump dispenser and it's HD, it's high definition. It's been designed for the HD TV market and it can be put on really thinly. So again, a hard task to pale up someone as, to tan up someone as pale as Tom. But if we just put a little bit on, just to give him a sort of a bit of a hero look. And again, most makeup artists will use a brush or their fingers or a bit of both. And you just need to go very lightly, just gently over the face. And you can see how, how, how evenly it spreads. Just move that around there. And it's just taking that slightly pinky British look that Tom's got. A little bit more on there. You wouldn't need powder with this at all. And if you did, it'd have to be very light. Again, Working on HD, you, you want to keep it down to the minimum. I'm just going lightly over. All over his face. Don't forget the ears. Again, with someone as blonde as Tom, the ears can be um, quite pinky in tone. So you just need to knock that back a bit. Now, I've slightly disturbed the cover-up I did over here, but that's fine, we can put that back in. Keep it really fine. And it's good to use your brush to work it in. Oops, a bit strong there, just take that away. Now, obviously, take it down to your neck. I don't need to tell you that. It depends what, what the actor's wearing. But it's so thin, this. Right, just finally, the last thing, just to where I've disturbed the cover-up I did earlier. Just going to go back with my TL3 and just ever so lightly. It's the great thing about having a palette is you can mix to make sure you get the right colour. Now, as most of us are shooting on HD these days, if you find that you've got a little bit too much shine, because we all know how shine sensitive it is, you won't beat 
Now let me just get the powder. This is the finest powder that I've come across in the industry. In fact, it's almost a liability, it's so fine. I don't know if you can see when I open that, there's bits falling. It's so fine that you almost need to wear a mask because a lot of it will disappear. You can see it going up in the air. So just where Tom's got a little bit of shine on the end of his nose, that's all I'd do, maybe on the eyelids. And just finally, one last thing. A little bit of corrective. And I think that's all you need. This is HD. It's very, very critical. So, with a small amount of products, we've managed to give him a nice tan.